And so Google has released the Pixel 5a with the Snapdragon 765G. But like me, you might be scratching your head wondering what's the difference between a Pixel 5 and a Pixel 5a, because the Pixel 5 also had a Snapdragon 765G. In fact, come to think about it, the Pixel 4a 5G version had a Snapdragon 765G. So what's the difference between these three phones, particularly when it comes to performance? Is one better than one of the other two? Well, let's find out by testing the Pixel 4a 5G version, the Pixel 5 and the Pixel 5a. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So we have the Pixel 4a 5G version from the Snapdragon 765G on the left hand side. We have the Pixel 5 with the same processor in the middle and the Pixel 5a again with the Snapdragon 765G on the right hand side. Now of course the dates there in the brackets are the dates when the devices were released and nothing to do with when the processor was announced or released and already we are into the SQL light test and the 5, the Pixel 5 in the middle there was the last one into the JSON test. It's not a good start there by the Pixel 5. I wonder whether there's going to be again, again look there into the compression test it was the last one as we're now into the compression test the zipping up the files and unzipping them testing not only the cpu but also some of the flash memory that is on these devices because of course this is a full device test as we are soon to be going into now the 16th thread test again the pixel 5 was a slow and now surely all three of these devices must be able to do the same here they've got the same cpu configured octa core uh, two cortex a76 cores and then six core uh, cortex a55 cores surely they should be able to come to the end of this together let's going to see what's happening there we go so the the Pixel 4a was the first out of the CPU part of the test, the first into the mixed CPU GPU part of the test in the blur test. Upcoming in a moment is the smoke particle test. We're going to see what we get for those 2D frame rates. As again, we are now into the infinite scrolling test. Again, the Pixel 5 was the slowest. At this point, it was not doing very well and has not been able to catch up with the other two. Here we are now into the smoke particle test. Let's see what we get, what we're going to see. On the left hand side, 19 frames a second, 20 frames again in the, in the middle, and 19 on the right side, but that dropped down to 19 again in the middle. So we now go into the 3D part of the speed test G run. We are now going into this first, and all three seem to start there at the same time. That was good by the Pixel 5. It seems to have caught up. In fact, it's doing better than this. It's actually ahead now. The Pixel 5 and 5a are ahead of the Pixel 4a. Definitely ahead now. Look, they're both coming down to the water. Definitely the 4a is behind. Now, because of this, I want to tell you I have run this test multiple times on the Pixel 4a on different 4a devices not only just one handset I tried it on multiple handsets and this result is consistent so we'll see what the final times are but note this is a consistent test I've tested it multiple times as now the 5a and the 5r battling out for first position which one is going to get there first is it going to be the 5 the 5a the 5 the 5a let's find out as we get to the end of the path here which one is going to be certainly the 4a is not going to be the first one let's see which one gets there which one is it going to be there we go the Pixel 5 two minutes 17.9 followed by the Pixel 5a 2 minutes 18.5 and now the Pixel 4a struggling a little there in the 3d section of this test we'll look at this when we break down the results in a minute there we go 2 minutes 29.4 well we really need to break down these results and see exactly what happened so as you saw there, it was actually a win for the Pixel 5. Very close by was the Pixel 5a. 2 minutes 17.9 versus 2 minutes 18.5. And then quite a bit behind was the Pixel 4a 5G. 2 minutes 29.4. Well, what happened in the CPU, we can actually find that the Pixel 4a was actually quicker. 53.6, followed by the 5a, 54.5. And then came in the Pixel 5, 55.1. And we saw that was behind uh, all the way there through that CPU test. When it came to the mixed CPU, GPU, basically the uh, same across the whole board there. 29.3, 29.1, 29.3, the Pixel 5 able to claw back a fraction of a second there. But then when it comes to the GPU, everything changed. Let's first of all talk about the Pixel 4a, 1 minute 6.4. As I said, tested this multiple times on multiple different handsets. This is the consistent result. It was not able to do well in the 3D test. Then we come down to the Pixel 5 versus the Pixel 5a. It's worth noting that the Pixel 5a is actually running at a slightly higher screen resolution, 1080 by a to 400 compared to 1080 followed by 2340 on the Pixel 5. So more pixels to push around. Maybe that'll explain the difference. 53.6 versus 54.6. And because of that better GPU time and because of that better mixed CPU GPU time, even though it had a worse CPU time, it meant the Pixel 5 came in first, 2 minutes 17.9. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, why not stick around and subscribe to the channel? 
Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.